Ladies and gentlemen, this is Sean Theodore, and I'm the pastor of Abundant Grace Church. It's great to have you with me today, and I'm hoping you're having a great week. And we're up to 287 subscribers, and we're reaching for 300. So if you could hit that subscribe button below, I'd really appreciate it. And it's great to have you with me today. I'm going to be talking about something in the Bible that applies to our everyday life. And what is that? That is getting up when we get knocked down. Sometimes we make mistakes, and sometimes those mistakes can cause us to get hard on ourselves. We can beat ourselves up, and, and sometimes we can get depressed or discouraged by some of the mistakes we've made. But God wants us to rise up above those mistakes. He wants us to turn our failures into success. He wants us to learn from our mistakes and get up and keep going. Sometimes people, they don't rise up to the next level because when they stumble and fall, they get all guilty and, and they feel down in the dumps and they feel like they've messed up for the last time and they don't feel like they could ever do anything right. You know what? God has forgiven us for all our errors and all our mistakes. He's an awesome God. He forgives us our sins. He cleanses us from all unrighteousness. He's an amazing God. So he's looking for you to overcome and we can overcome our mistakes. And how do we do that? We need to receive the grace and forgiveness of God. God forgives us for all our sins. You know what the Bible says in 1 John 1, 9? If you confess your sins, He, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That's how good our God is. He wants to forgive you. He wants to give you a new beginning. But we need to go out with the old and in with the new. We need to receive that forgiveness. It doesn't mean that we are individuals who just say, hey, you know what, I'm, I care less if I sin or not. I'm not worried about it. I'll just live any way I want and, and not worry about sin and I'll just receive his grace. No, we should look at sin and feel bad about our mistakes, and but then learn from it and then move on and not continue to act like God hasn't forgiven you because all your sins, past, present, and future are forgiven. I want to get into the Word of God, and I want to read out of the book of Proverbs chapter 24, and I believe that God has a word for you today. So let's get in the Word of God, and we're going to read out of Proverbs chapter 24. Now, what does it say? Verse 16, it says, For a just man falleth seven times and riseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. So it says a just man falls. What's a just man? Someone who's redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. That means we're righteous. When Jesus dies on the cross, he justifies us by his blood, and it makes us righteous. So God doesn't look at us anymore as in a state of sin. He sees the blood of Jesus covering us. When we're Christians and we receive Christ, that makes us righteous. And it says the just, what does it say? It's talking about Christians, believers, those who've given their lives to Jesus Christ. It says a just man falls seven times. What does that mean? None of us are perfect. It says just men fall seven times, more than once, multiple times. It doesn't say what type of mistake we make, but we all stumble and fall. Whether we have doubt, whether we have fear, whether we have an addiction issue, whether we're struggling with depression, if we're struggling with all kinds of sin habits or negative aspects in our lives, we all stumble and fall from time to time. We all have weaknesses because there's no God juniors here. There's no Jesus juniors here. You know, we all are imperfect people. None of us are infallible. Only God is perfect, but we're striving to become. Even Paul said, this one thing I do, forgetting those things that are behind and pressing toward those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. What did Paul say? I forget those things that are behind. I don't keep dwelling on my mistakes. I just may fall seven times. So what does that mean? If you're just, if you're a believer, you're still going to stumble and fall from time to time. And that's where the grace and forgiveness and the favor, that's what grace means, unmerited favor, the favor of God, he gives to us. And he gives to you today. When you stumble and fall, God's not angry at us for our faults. He wants us to just receive his forgiveness. He wants us to go to him. He loves, it, loves us so much. And he doesn't want us living in sin, obviously. He wants us to get victory. But at the same time, he doesn't want us beating ourselves up when we make mistakes. He wants us to run to him, not away from him. Because sin sometimes makes us feel ashamed and guilty and despair. And, and we don't want to turn to God. Our flesh does not want to do that. But it's so imperative that we as believers turn to the Lord when we see these attributes in our lives, these negative attributes of sin. So what does it say? Proverbs 24, verse 16, A just man falls seven times and riseth up again. So here's the next thing. A just man, he's a Christian, he falls. We all make mistakes. 
and it says we fall seven times. That means multiple times. We make mistakes. So, but it says we rise up again. We don't continue to stay in the dumps, not receiving God's forgiveness and, and living in guilt. We say, you know what? We're human. We make mistakes. God loves us. See yourself as righteous. You're just. You're righteous in the eyes of God. You're his child. You're the apple of his eye, according to Zechariah chapter 2. The Bible says you're engraved in the palm of his hand. He loves you unconditionally, and he wants you to just say, Lord, forgive me. Cleanse me. And he will and just get up. Champions get up. Losers stay down. Champions rise up again. If you've struggled and you've maybe you've tried something, a business, or you've tried to write a book, or maybe you, you're singing a song and you're writing something and it didn't come out the way you wanted to and now you're giving up. No, get up again and keep going. Maybe you're trying to do something, you're studying for something in school and maybe that major didn't work out and now you're wondering what to do with your life. God has a different plan maybe. Maybe he has something else or maybe he wants you to keep going but keep rising up, keep striving to be the best you can be. God will open up doors. The Bible says he will open up doors that no man can shut. So no matter what's happening, if you're falling, be of good courage. God will work all things together for your good. That's how good he is. I want to go to the book of Psalms. And as a similar scripture, it kind of says pretty much the same thing, just in a different way. But it's Psalm chapter 37. And I love this verse. It's in Psalm 37 and verse 23. It says, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. So a good man is a person who's righteous, who's just, who's saved, who's a believer, who's given their life to Jesus Christ. The steps are ordered of the Lord. Your path, once you become a Christian, is ordered by the Lord. That means God has a plan. He has a divine purpose for your life. The pathway, the, the, the goal, your destiny. He has an amazing destiny for your life. He's got it all mapped out. He's got a will. That's his plan, God's will. And King David was a man after God's own heart, the scriptures say. What does that mean? He was after God's plan, purpose, and will for his life. God has a plan, purpose, and will for your life, and it's the best. God always gives his best to us. So, what does it say? The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. God delights in our way when we serve him, and we, he delights in us. Whether we're doing everything right or we're making mistakes, he still looks down and says, that's my child. I love them and I care for them. That's how good God is. He loves you. Mistakes and all. Flaws and all. That's what a loving, unconditional love is all about. That's God. He's all about unconditional love. He died on the cross, not because we were good. He died on the cross because we were sinners. And he still forgives us because we're sinners. That's what grace is. It means we don't deserve it. It's unmerited favor. He's looking for us to get up and not stay down and be guilty and bringing the past up and all of our mistakes and the things we could have done and why we're missing out on his best because he's got the best. So what does it say? The steps of a good man, Psalm 37, verse 23. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall. Remember the other scripture says, a just man falls seven times and rises up again. It says, though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. For the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. You know what that means? Even though we stumble, even though we may fall, even though we may make mistakes from time to time, the Lord will pick us up. You know what? It says, just me fall seven times, rises up again. Though we fall, the Lord will lift us up. So when you get up, God's going to help restore you. He will bring you back to the original condition you were in. Even if you failed or you got rejected or somebody persecuted you and you fell apart or maybe you lost your faith in God and you gave up and you threw the towel in, God's like, pick it up. When you throw the towel in, pick it up. Get back in the fight. Get going. Get going and let God do great works in your life. He's got a great plan. Tough times don't last, but tough people do. You're a tough individual. The Bible's all about saying weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Sometimes it can be hard. Sometimes we stumble. Sometimes we lose our faith and we get weak, but we need to get that faith back. Step up and believe because when we rise up, God is going to hold us up. He's going to keep us up. He's a God who's there for you. He cares about you. He doesn't want you quitting on him. You know what? We can't quit. When the going get tough, the tough got to get going. And you know what? I believe that God has a future ahead of you. So what you need to do, how do you stay on track? One, get in your word. Read it. It's going to encourage you. Two, pray. Have a good prayer life. Quality time. Spend it with the Lord every day. Three, Remember not to hold on to those negative things of the past. Let it go. It's done. You can't change it. 
for and make sure that you're in a good church somewhere where you are being encouraged. Hear the word, listen to preachers. You know what? It's going to help you to grow. And in five, I encourage you to also make sure that you tap into the spiritual gifts that you have. You may have a spiritual gift that hasn't been manifested yet. The Lord wants you to use those gifts for his glory. So if this devotional blessed you today and you've been blessed by uh, this channel, I encourage you to hit subscribe right now. Hit subscribe below. Our goal is to get to 300 subscriptions and then we want to, you know, eventually get to, to 1,000, but every subscription matters. I appreciate your support and may God richly bless you as you continue to serve him.